Hey guys, in this tutorial we will learn on how to animate a plant in GoreFX with a slow breeze which is good for our flytrough animations. Let's get started. This is a Lario P plant from MaxTree. So check their website, they have lots of variety of plants and trees for your ArcViz renders. Pretty good. They have some high poly and low poly models which is good for animation flight throughs and we'll be using this plan for today's tutorial so let's add the uh, wind object now let's turn this into a line first and then click the highlighted path mode so right now we're just gonna turn off the flowers for now leaves so we'll just put some animation on this branch there one so let's go to after mesh modifier All right let's add some wind animation and create okay so let's name this into branch zero one All right, and then let's pick this one and then let's add some stiffness to it. So the stiffness will be check stiffness will be seven thousand. and then flexibility will be 30 so the sw swaying of the branch will be a little bit uh, more smoother so let's turn on the mesh now see the animation and turn off the highlight let's play, let's play it alright so uh, as we can see animation there's a little bit wind and slight movement of the branches it's good and now we're gonna add another wind modifier on the leaf right so we'll duplicate this one let's copy um, leaf Is it zero one or just check? Yeah, zero one. Let's change this color. And then we'll copy the modifier the wind animation from the branch zero one. Copy and then go to leaf and then paste the modifier and then pick leaf All right so we're on the leaf zero one now we're gonna change the parameters to 2000 and 15 and for the wind we'll change it to 50 and we'll add some per tube speed of 400 and we'll change the size um, no, not really it, it stays at the same right and then we'll change the face to 100 okay so let's do this uh, uh, let's play this one Alright, I think we're happy with that one. We don't want a very strong breeze to it. So just some slight movement for the animation. 
Let's see it in perspective. Right. Let's play again. Yeah, that should do the work. So you can apply the settings to some plants from Max Tree. I think with the same um, model or the same look that has this the same structure. Just not too much um, model to it. Just the stem and the branch. And then we're gonna add the flowers now. Uh, animation win a win animation to the flowers. So let's duplicate this one again. And let's name it flower. Okay. And then we'll show the flower now. So for for these three flowers here, we're just gonna use one um wind modifier and one wind object All right okay so let's just duplicate the leaf oh sorry oh this one here and from the leaf we'll duplicate that one so copy modifier and then go to leaf a uh, flower zero one and then paste modifier right and then we're gonna pick the wind object flower All right yeah okay so we're gonna change the flower uh, parameters to 1000 and then 400 this one stays as it is and then we're going to change the parameters here on the after mesh modifiers. So it's going to be 3000 and 300. All right. So we're going to we're going to copy all right, now we're gonna copy these modifiers here to the rest of the two flowers here. All right, so copy and then go to flower zero tree. Okay. Just do it this one. So we copied the wind from flower zero one, copy, and then go to flower zero tree, paste as instance. And then go to flower zero two, paste as instance. All right. So as you can see, it changed a little bit. So we don't want a very strong wind um, swaying of the flowers because it's already stick to the uh, leaves or to the branch. All right, but if we play it now, so it's a little bit slight movement to the flowers. See. It's up to you if you want to put some animation to flowers, but yeah, for this tutorial, I just like to add to it. So at least we have an idea on how to put animation on some of the elements of the plants. Alright, so we're gonna do a preview now for this animation. Okay, uh, Shift V. Uh, let's just go to a frame. Alright, Shift V. And then custom to 300. 25 frames and then just standard shading great 
this one should be quicker because there's not much like the mesh is very low poly it's not like a tree from other max tree models that are very high poly and some uses like a meta mesh which is heavy to the scene and to the animation so should be fast So usually for animation, she can just use like a 0 to 250 frames, like 10 seconds, doesn't need to be 12 unless if it's a long flight trip. Alright, so yeah, as we can see, there's you can see the swaying here, the leaves and the branch, and there's a little bit swaying on the flowers also so it's pretty decent uh, animation for a flight through for some vignette shots all right so we're gonna try a uh, perspective now just to see how it looks Alright, we need to close that. Clear. <clears throat> right. So I won't be showing you on how to convert this into a proxy since I already have a tutorial on those ones for those two previous uh, videos that I did. So it's pretty much straightforward on how to convert a uh, Corona proxy animation. Alright, I think we're pretty happy with this one. Yeah, so you can add any other plant with hopefully the settings that I've showed you will work on other plants from Max Tree. So please do visit the website, they have lots of um, very nice models there. Which is good for your um, fly throughs or still images. Alright, I think that's all for this tutorial and I hope you've learned something. And we'll do another, for the next one we'll do a yucca, eucalyptus tree, which is a lot more dense than the previous uh, videos that I did. Alright, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. See ya.